Sponsored by Bulldog Models. Hi guys, it's Moz here from Moz6510 Models and on the workbench today I have this Airfix new tooled Bristol Beaufort Mark 1 in 1 to 72 scale. Basically in 2020 Airfix announced eight new tools plus two uh, variants. They just they said that they were going to release the 1 to 72 scale Vulcan, the Spitfire 5C, the 1 to 48 Saber 4. They also announced a 1 to 35 scale Cromwell 4 and a Cromwell 6. They did the 172 Firefly, the Tiger and a couple of Scammels. But unfortunately, because of the worldwide pandemic, we have had to wait for some of these models to come through from last year to this year. We've had the Spitfire Mark V. We've had the uh, Firefly and the Tiger Tanks. We haven't seen the Scammels, but they have now released this that they announced back in 2020, this Beaufort Mark One, And it's really good that we've got it. What I've seen so far, looking at Aerodrome, which is their weekly or bi-weekly email, they showed you some really good shots of it. They put out a video of it completely built. Fair play to FX, it was on its way. It's taken a bit longer, but now we have it and it's here on my bench. Little bit miffed, I will say, that I saw reports that this was being sold in Australia last week. I don't know how they got it before us. I'm an Airfix subscriber. I pay for the Airfix Club. I, I pre-ordered it way back in 2020. And it's a week after everybody else had got it. So I was a little bit miffed at that. But it's now here on my bench. And maybe Airfix can do a little bit better. You know, you pay your money as you expect it. You know, as when everybody else gets it. And to see it in Australia one week before it even hit the shelves of the UK. You know, I think that was a little bit poor. But anyways, the Bristol Bullfort. Let's have a look at the box and see what's on it. You have this fabulous box art there on the front. It's telling you quite clearly it's Airfix. It has two schemes. The box art actually is an action scene. Basically, you have the Bristol Bullfort there flying towards a German battleship. It was the 22nd Squadron Bristol Bullfort flown by Officer Kenneth Campbell and his crew. It was shot down by intense return fire. Campbell was post humorously awarded the Victoria Cross for that raid. So that's the box art. On the side of the box, you have the warnings. You have the barcode. The code is A04021. A04021. It's saying that the decals are by cartograph, which is good. This side of the box, you have the box art again. 172 Bristol, Bullfort Mark 1 and the uh, code again. Here you have... Basically two schemes, you can have the Beaufort Mark 1 flown by Officer Kenneth Campbell or you can have this one here which was the aircraft flown by Sergeant John Bell Rutherford. Okay, so you've basically you've got two schemes there and it's just basically some bump there telling you that it came into service in 1940s and proved to be a rugged and highly manoeuvrable aircraft. So it's a torpedo bomber by the way, so skill level 2. Paints you need are for, if you're doing A and B together, you've got to need 11, 24, 33, 53, 56, 62, 78, and 85. And if you're doing the A, you will need also 29 and 30. And the pilots will be 61, 83, and 96. Right? Not included are the paints and the glue, obviously. And you get two flying hours because this is roughly £19, or well, 20 quid all but a penny, to buy this kit from the FX website. So let's have a look inside the box. So this is a top opening box. Inside you have the regular one kit in a bag situation. You also have some instructions. And within the instructions you will have the decal sheet. 
So let's have a quick look at the decal sheet. I'll bring it up close to the camera so you can see. So let's get up close. Here are the decals. Can you see that? Very crisp. The roundels look absolutely perfect. Hardly any overfilm on these. Fantastic, fantastic effort there. Very, very nice. And there's word in there as well. So it's not like just little jottery lines and dots and dashes. There are proper words there. Very, very good. So there's the decals. So the instruction manual is going to be quite large. It's, it's, as I said, 159 pieces in this kit. The size of the plane is going to be 244 millimetres by 186 millimetres. Two decal schemes included. Some bump through of the plane, the specifications, turning over the page. You've got here saying study drawings and practice assembly before cementing parts together. So basically dry fit. There's all your instruction icons there, so always follow this. Straight away, they're telling you that when building this model with the torpedo fitted, drill out the three holes in part C18, as shown in this diagram, and refer to steps 95 to 101 on pages 16 to 17. So if you want to fit the torpedo, do that. If you don't, don't bother. Simple. They've basically started here uh, with the radio operative area. So you're putting in the chair for radio operative and then the dashboard moving. And then you've got the struts then for the wings. Bit of strength there, which is like a, a good system they have where you just slot the wings onto those struts. Make sure you've got 90 degree angles all perfect there. Moving through, you start building all the front end up now. So you've got the cockpit chair there where there's bulletproof backing plate. And that will get stick, stuck down their dashboard with the decal sheet, the decal you got to put on from the decal sheet and showing you where to put all the all the parts to put the column in there. Then also, again, 56, 85, that's the colours or the paint scheme that you need. Then you've got the navigator's chair going in, you've got door with some glazing going in. And so you just going step by step, you start on then. You do the, the back bulkhead there, the fabric bulkhead or dustproof bulkhead, I think it's called. And then adding all the extra sections in the middle, a bit more glaze in there. Do the pilot in the colours the same. And then you stick the two fuselages together. There's the turret there. Just moving on through, then you do the wings. Then you start off doing the, the, the flaps at the back. Uh, different parts here, you can you can put them in any angle you like. It's up to you which, which ones you add to that. Then you start up doing the engines, which is, I believe, was the Taurus, if I'm all right. And then I think I think the English, the, the Beaufort Mark I had the Taurus, but they had problems with the Taurus, didn't they? And I think the Australians went for the Pratt & Whitney Wasp, twin Wasp engine, is that right? Let me know in the comments, you know, what the engine was, but I think it was a Taurus. Um, yeah, I'm sure it was a Taurus. And on through, just building up the engine there, the nacelles, moving on through, more of the engine there, look at that. See, just, and you've got the pin there. So hopefully if you glue this right, the props will actually, or the de Havilland tripod, is it the Havilland tripod on these ones? There are two of them. Moving through, then you put on the canopy. Then the underbelly there. Just uh, follow on the instructions. Putting the, the wheels and the tyres together. Looks like uh, two-piece ones which you can then slot underneath, which looks quite nice. There's the rear wheel there. Moving on through, quite a bit of detail there for the undercarriage, you can see. Quite a lot of detail there. Some more details, there's the, the coverings for them. Same, is it push down, do you push them in, is that right? It's like they slot in, push down hard by that picture there. Just moving on through, there's the turrets there you're putting all together with the, with the guns. And I presume they're all twin Vickers guns on this one, if I remember rightly. Just put in the comments if I'm wrong, <laughs> or put in the comments if I'm right even. Then you add the torpedo there with, and obviously you do have some parts there for the two, you put the torpedoes together there and you do have like a holder for the torpedo, which looks nice. Adding on the aerial there and the, the wing tips, which is a bit of glass. Put in the glass, note the assembly of the gun option to refer to step 16 on page five. So go back to page five and see how that gun fits on. There's your De Havilland tri-prop there. Put them all on and you're pretty much done with the instructions. So I've just gone through them quite quickly because I don't want this video to be too long. And then there you have the two schemes there. And click them over. And that one there, which is the 
John Bell Rutherford pilot one. Very nice. Very, very nice. I, I prefer that one, to be fair. As based in Cornwall in England, February the 1st, 1941. Very nice. So, yeah, you've got that uh, matte black all underneath. And then you have your standard camo on the top there. So, yeah, not bad at all. So then you have one, two, three, four, five sprues plus you have this one here which is bagged the the plastic the clear sprue here with which does have quite a few parts to it you're looking at uh, one two three four there's 12 14 17 different parts here and look at that look at the canopy there that looks fantastic doesn't it look at the shape of it plenty there to get yourself um into when painting this up plenty of masking involved as well look at that one there for the turret what's that is that eight sections there uh you got quite a bit there to mask up i'll just leave it i would <laughs> yep there you go more pieces there yeah not bad at all so that one's there let's go through the actual so let's look at the, which one's look at, let's do it by actual part number, shall we? So frame, sprue A or frame A. Look at that, look at the detail on this. Very nice, as, as you can imagine, because it's a brand new tool in. It looks the balls. There'd be no flash on this, I doubt. Look at that there, very, very nice. Look at the fuselage. There's the wheels there, two-part wheels. Looking at the fuselage, there's some nice detail in the fuselage there. Very, very nice. Right to the back as well. Got some ribbing there. Let's look at the other side. It's not a carbon copy. It's not like flipped over. That's fantastic, isn't it? Nice detail there. Okay. There's your undercarriage wheels there. So there's your first, number A. Number B, which is your wings. Look at the uh, recess panel lines there. Lots of detail. Nice, very, very nice. Indeed. Some injection marks there, which you're gonna have to, you might have to fill in. But they may not be seen actually. Brilliant. So frame C now. There's that Taurus engine or Pratt Whitney engine, whichever. It's a nice detail there. You can do quite a bit there with a nice, a nice silver spray, a well, black finish silver spray, and then put some wash on that, and that would look great. You know, there's the nacelles there. Moving on through. There's part of the bulkhead there with, you know, with, I think that's the radio operative section. There's your Diavoland props there. There you are, some pin marks. You won't, you, I don't think you'll see this, so I won't worry too much about the, the pin marks there. But yeah, looking proper smart, isn't it? Nice detail there. We're on frame D now. So all the little pieces there, there's your, your pilot seat there. All the extras there, there's your, there's your pieces there for your undercarriage and you know everything that you need there for that. Looking pretty smart. There's a lot of detail there, you know. You see the detail? Fantastic. The proof's in the pudding when you put it together, isn't it? And there you go, that's that section there. Then the final one, which is E, which houses your torpedo. Some more of the flaps there. There's your pilot. There he is, he's twerking. Twerk, twerk, twerk. There you go. There's your cockpit display there. And there you go. Covers there for the nacelles again. Very nice, lovely detail. Pin marks shouldn't be a problem. You must have to fill in a few. 
but yeah it sounds it looks it's going to be a good fun build to do which i'm hopefully going to be doing in a couple of weeks time sponsored by bulldog models organize your hobby bench with high quality 3d printed scale model organizers accessories and much more to make your life as a scale modeler easier visit the website and use code mosmodels5 for a 5% discount off your order today link to the website in the description box down below so then that was the Bristol Beaufort Mark 1 unboxing and review thank you for watching if you liked the video click like if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and ring that bell to be notified on any new videos any questions any comments put them in the box below and i'll do reply and i'll see you in the next video cheers